in my time here, I believe you've always been a guy who, who came to OTAs, even you know, with those voluntary. Uh, why has that been important to you over the years? And and do you like this new setup? If, if this, I don't know if this is going to be permanent, but do you like this setup that y'all have this year, the two weeks? Oh yeah, I love it. I mean, I just love football, man. And anytime you get a chance to be around your brothers and your teammates, um, it's special. So uh, for me, it's never been a, a big thing of not coming. You know, I always. I just love football, man. I love being here. I love this organization. And I mean, it gave me a chance. So um, why not Why not come here and give everything that I got? George Bremer. T.Y., I mean, obviously some of these guys have been with you for two or three years now. But as you come in today, uh, have you looked at all around the locker room and, and wonder a little bit how young uh, th this team has gotten in the, in the last few years? Oh, yeah, we, we definitely got a, a lot younger. You know, I've been around – a lot of old teams, a lot of teams in between, a lot of, and uh, this is my probably my first young team. So, um, I mean, it's it's special, and you see all the, the fresh faces, guys that's willing to compete, guys that's ready, ready to step in and, and do their job, and you know, um, it, it's fun. You know, I, I like it. Olivia Ray. Ty day one in the building, being back with everyone and welcoming in Carson Wentz. I wanted to know what interactions have been like here as you guys welcome him to the team. I've just been fun, you know, just having him here, having him around. You know, it's, it's exciting, you know, I mean, just you know, just getting to know him, embracing him, um, and just spending time with him. You know, um, anytime you get to do that with, with your quarterback and just make him feel at home, um, it eases it, 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 it the way for him. Joel Erickson. How uh, how long does it take to build that relationship between quarterback and receiver? And, and is this the, was today the first time you've gotten to catch from him, or have you done a little bit before? I uh, haven't had a chance to catch with him today. Uh, he's a little under the weather, I guess. Um, Frank will talk to you guys about that. But um, I caught with him um, before, so um, you know it'll take take maybe a little bit. But um, I think we'll be fine once we once we get the throwing, once we understand each other. Um, like the, the one throwing session we had was was pretty pretty good. So um, I mean, we'll be fine. How'd you guys get that throwing session together? Repeat it. How'd you guys get that one throwing session together? Where was it? Uh, just texting, and communicating um, at a field. And, you know, once we got there, uh, we do what we do. JJ? Hey, T.Y., what have you learned over the last couple of years about what you can do to kind of help build that rapport with a quarterback just from working with, you know, whether it's been Andrew to Jacoby to Phillip? Uh, just, just, um, just communication, which I think is is a big thing. Uh, understanding, you know, what what he likes to do, uh, what I like to do, and just kind of make that make that work, make that bond, and uh, just you know what we what we what we like to do and, and how we like to do it on certain downs, uh, certain plays, and you know what we look for in the defense. Thank you for. See, well, you've talked in the past about the certain type of ball each quarterback throws. They throw them different. Um, is it too early to tell what kind of ball Carson throws? I think you guys had like one throwing session on a high school field. Have you learned about that? And how do you develop that? Uh, just just a lot of time and a lot of um, chemistry. Uh, I mean, it was on the money. He has a big arm, you know, and he, he likes to throw it. So, um, you know, it's exciting. It's fun. So, um, you know, it's going to be <laughs> – it's going to be special. One of the uh, things the team is most excited about is that big arm that you mentioned. Um, and we know you like to go deep down the field. We haven't seen that as much the last couple of years. Do you feel like there'll be an added emphasis in that this year with Carson back there? He can scramble. He can get some time. Maybe they can give you time down the field. Do you think we'll see a little bit more of that? Uh, we can't give away too much, but uh, it's going to be fine. We'll go a few more here. Mike Chappell. At T.Y., I, sometimes when there's compromises on routines, you know, two weeks, in the offseason, sometimes that routine gets to be how it's going to be going forward. What can you guys get done in two weeks? And then how important is it going to be, whether it's you or whether it's you and the receivers and Carson, to get together after you're done here? Uh, we get a lot done in two weeks. Uh, you get you get to you get to see guys. You get to talk with them. You get to go over the playbook, uh, understand how each other move. Uh, and just go over a lot of things, you know. Uh, the most important thing is just getting the playbook down, understanding it, uh, familiarize with it, and just go out there and, and run routes. You know, RVAs, uh, group sessions with the O line. So, um, you know, just being around one another. That's 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 the most important thing. No, I assume you'll try to get together in, in June and July. 
Right. Oh, absolutely. We'll get together. That's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Stephen Holder? Hey, T.Y., on a slightly different subject, um, I know that Paris looks up to you a lot, and you have seen what he's been through the last couple of years. Uh, what, what has been his attitude, and, and what, have you, what have your conversations been with him just to kind of keep him focused? Um, I, I mean, he is pretty focused anyway, but what, what is, where is he at? Where's his head at, and what are you telling him? Oh, his head's good, man. You know, just constantly, you know, we, con we text each other every day. Uh, so, uh, I mean, his, his head is all right. Um, that's, that's the most important thing. His faith is good. So, um, you know, his, um, my main thing for him is just go out there and just, just be Paris, man. You know, don't worry about the naysayers, what they say. They're going to talk good or bad about you regardless of who you is. So um, just go out there and, ju and just play your game, and you'll be all right. And as long as he understands what he needs to do, he'll be fine. Well, last one here, Olivia Ray. T.Y., just because you got to spend some time with him, I know the Colts announced today that they are going to honor Robert Mathis in November when the Patriots are in town. Um, what that means for you guys that were around him and how exciting it is that he finally gets his day. Oh, that's that's that, that's special, and especially for 98. Um, it's, it's an honor, and I know um, he loves it. We all love it for him, and, you know, it was – it was me, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a dog, man. And just me spending time with him and watching him play to him coaching, you know, he just, he just loved football. And, you know, it's, it's, it's just special for a special guy. And, you know, it, it's meant for him and we love Mathis and I'm glad he got his day.